Alright. Welcome back to day four. The Intergalactic Airspace Expo 2949. Today we have three more companies showing off their ship. MISC or Mushashi Industrial and Starfly Concern. Argo Astronautics, these two ships down here, and a ship that is not being shown today because they are a relative newcomer in the ship making game, Crusader Industries, which as you can see on the shirt over here, that's their logo. Tell you what these three companies are all about. When it comes to utility vehicles, Argo Astronautics is the go-to for practical, moderately sized, no-nonsense craft. But it's no stranger to heavy industry, as evidenced by the mold. An industry standard with an updated design being touted as a new face of excavation. Now for Miss, Miss ingenious merging of Shion and human design philosophy makes for vessels both exotic and reliable. Its modular approach to ship design means it seemingly has a ship for every occasion. From research expeditions to professional racing and long hauls to close calls, MISC has you covered. Uh, now, Xion, it mentions, uh, it's another race of uh, turtle people. As dedicated to progress as it is to profits. Crusader has anchored itself as a mainstay of the aerospace industry in nearly every conceivable sector. From transport and industrial support on a massive scale to personal solutions for freight, data, and combat, Crusader's varied portfolio and altruistic legacy continue to make a steady impact on the industry and the verse at large. There are like a few Crusader ships that are in development, but none in game so far yet. Though from what it looks like from the concept pictures, Crusader Crusader line of ships may be my favorite aesthetically. Because it's all about the uh, high, high tech. Like there's high tech. Well, that's Basically, MISC is all about high tech, but Crusader is all about high, high tech. Actually, in lore, it's explained as super modernism. They're all about minimalistic, smooth, flowing lines and having just up the utmost recent technology. First, we'll look at the Argo line of ships. These are like very industrial line and everything. Oh, you can see part of the brochure here. Another astronautics utility vehicle. This one is the which one is it? The MPUV. The one that has the cargo pod in it. Uh, these ropes are kinda in my way. But um can't get behind and show you, but there's a compartment in the back. There's a door in the back where you can get in and you know, get into the cargo compartment. I can't get back there. At least let's get in the pot. Let's see. Show you what it's about. Now, I'm going to be honest, it's been a very time since I've been in one of these like I'm, so, I'm talking about like since 2017 you can open individual doors that's neat yeah power on systems activated systems on 
Okay, he has a very uh, robotic, uh, bitching Betty like thing. Yeah, it's a very simple crab, very straight to the point, very utilitarian. These are made for like the personal shuttles of like larger ships, you know, like capital ships. Like park them in orbit and take one of these down to the surface to deliver uh, either cargo. I'm sorry, actually, this one you can't go inside of. You hold the cargo underneath it. I'm pretty sure. This one is actually an NPC sitting inside of it. I see. This one's a tight squeeze in. Is the personal transport variant. Then you got these doors out in the side, and you got this door back here. Is there any wording after that? No? Alright, no. We don't have descriptions right now. Yeah. This is uh this dude is just sitting here chilling. But anyway. Kinda have to crouch out. Uh, Alright. Little personal transport you use from your uh, capital ships or whatever ship you can fit them in. It doesn't have a quantum drive, so you can't go far. Now let's look at Misk. These are the Razor line of ships. Very fast. They're like reminiscent of like uh, F1 cars. As you can see from all the. Uh, Spoilers, all the carbon fiber, and all the advertisements, uh, sponsorships on it. There you go. There's a description for you to read. This one's like the more stealthy version. EX Just let me show you a side of this one. Only get the rent notification out there. There we go. See, it's kind of a tight fit. There is no lights in here. Power on. Yeah. This is all a mix of human and alien technology. Which I believe the next day, tomorrow, will be all about aliens. So, there you go. All about the imports tomorrow, but today. We got this blend of human and alien tech with a uh, misc brands ah straight outside too you can see two very powerful engines again it's very f1 car like As weaponry, you know, it could be used as some kind of like scout fighter, you know, just quick in and quick out, take a few shots, pew pew, and just bounce out.
third variant of the Razor over there, the LX. Luxury. As luxury as you can get with like a Razor. Right now, this is the Prospector. Front person mining ship. Argo has just recently released a three person mining ship. That would. It's actually going to be released when a new patch comes. This is the one person mining ship, you know what I'm saying? If you don't feel like being social. <laughs> Huge uh, VTOL engines in the back. That person just dropped his box. He's fired from Amazon. Yeah, Amazon probably hired him. It has a, uh, whatever the thing is, nobody can ever explain it, not even it does. Huge VTOL engines. Meant to just like stay in the air and hover while you're doing mine work, you know what I'm saying? These bags over here. Fill up of all your minerals that you collecting. You know, the front set of VTOL engines. This is the mining laser itself. These three rings over here is where the laser shoot out from. It spins. And in here is where all the minerals get, you know, trapped or beamed into. As you can see, it has actually a very nice view from the cockpit, you know. Three ring lights for headlights. I'll probably show you the description first. There we go. Wait, I almost had it. Uh, there we go. Alright. Let's get inside. Uh, Stores in my. Oh, well, that works too. It has a little bed over here. You know what I'm You know, in case you're mining far out into the verse, you can get back in a sort of port in time. And you have your uh, cooler panel here, gravity generator, jump drive here, life support, radar, computer, shield generator, first aid kit over here. Got your components nicely listed over here. Got your. Uh, Oh, water dispenser and towels. Here's a bathroom over here. Survival kit. Once again, a uh, toilet, shower, combo. Always gotta save space in these ships. You got both your cold and hot water faucets over here. Out here in the cockpit. You get very nice views all around. I think I can only turn off the seat from behind. Yeah, there we go. Your screens are basically up there, you know. As a holographic displays for uh, some of them. Okay. 
you uh, see the whole shape and design of it. Let me see if I can actually activate. Yeah, there you go. I can switch to the uh, hover mode. Look at that. Look at that. Switch the hover mode on. See the engines rotate back down. Sounds like. Ooh, here those engines kick up. Alright. Turn the lights on. See the alternate lighting when the song powers off. These survivor kits all light up green now. You know, a little more uh, subdued lighting, a little more comfortable sleep. Whoa, we'll set that actually, what the hell? But anyways. Yeah. Server Mitch match with the door. Oh no, not rent. Nice animation. Oh yeah, the ladder. Bit over engineered though. But that must be a maintenance hell. Now here, Jenny likes to go with like the littlest to biggest ships. Now here you got your Reliant series. Now here's where Miss is uh, most inspired by their uh, alien partners, Shions. The Shions really like their vertical design language type of thing. So these are like the B wings of Star Citizen. Got the Ace of Clubs logo on this. Anyways. These ships are the B wings of Star Citizen. See, these two wings over here. Once you take off and uh, disengage hover mode, apparently it's like in this uh, hover configuration with the engines pointing down. The engines will point back. These wings will go vertical. And cockpit. Yeah, this whole front section over here will spin. This back session will stay horizontal, this whole front session will become vertical. And these two seats are actually connected to like some type of support on the back. I think you can kind of see it. Yeah, you can see it when I get inside, but yeah. These two seats stay uh, vertical. Otherwise, that would be wildly uh, confusing. Like, this is the core, the base version of it. Light Freight. I believe this is the science model. The Sen? Oh no. This is the Mako. This is um, another ship where it doesn't have its gameplay yet, but this is a ship where you know, it's, uh, basically carry a TV crew with it. Let me show you inside what I mean. Oh, actually, what are the wings yet? Yeah, they're over here. Here's the camera on one of the wings. It's like your uh, news reporting ship. You know, it's like you're like a news van. And here's where your uh, your camera crew will like be sitting over here, monitoring screen. Uh, well, I'm not sure actually. Is it holographic? Yeah, it is. All right, yeah. They'll be, they'll be monitor, monitoring uh, holographic screens. Right now, it's all just MFDs because again, the uh, 
guess the news reporting gameplay is not in yet, but yeah. You got your two beds here, one for the product, one for the uh I guess the news mod. I'm not sure what it's called, but yeah. And your server racks over here, keep all your data. Again, you got uh, I'm sitting on nothing, am I? I was. Some server desync issues, but yeah. Once again, your shower toilet combo. Did you get did you get the picture now? Most ships have a shower toilet combo. Yeah. Once again, nice views. Once we get to the bigger midship, it's going to be Kind of contradictory, you know, because like their smaller ships are all about having the big, wide bubble views. The larger ships just have slits. It's kind of weird. Yeah, as you can see, this this is how the seat stays vertical when the whole section becomes uh, vertical. Pull to this. I'm not sure how this will eject and let's see. Um, I don't think there's a door here. Or these might be the doors. It's the only thing is yeah, they might be the doors. Hmm. I don't think this will have any ejection seats. I don't know, maybe this whole front section just ejects off. But yeah. Show you what the inside of the base version looks like. See, this is like a light freighter, you know, it has a lot of cargo space in here. And that's pretty much it. <laughs> this is the base version, this is all you get. Just a cargo section and nothing more. Let me show you the pilot seat. Once again, like the uh, uh, prospector, you got these uh, screens overhead, some of them holographic. Why bubble views? Yeah, I didn't think that would work, otherwise that would literally be just breaking the ship. Yeah. It has a turret on one wing tip and another wing tip. Can attach a turret, I believe. Maybe. Not that sure. Kind of useless to have cold pilots, so I'm not sure what they can do. One uh, thing, kind of a drawback, is once you, once the ship goes vertical, you can't actually exit out the seats. It would be kind of like the um, the Django Fett, Boba Fett Slave One ship, where one seat will be above one another in the vertical mode and. Uh, the door will be sideways and be pretty much no way you can get inside. I 
there is these like these handholds. Maybe in the future you can't exit out the seats and uh, grab onto these and pull yourself. They actually do or did have the push pull mechanics on the roadmap, but it has since disappeared. Not sure when it's gonna appear again. Actually, I'm not sure. It might be still on the roadmap, but in the future they're planning on adding the uh, push pull mechanics in the zero g environments. You can grab on a ledge and pull yourself towards something. This here is the science version. The Sen. Uh, what the hell? Can't believe that bug is back, but it's the Sen. The light science. Uh, gotta crouch through here again. Uh, it's like a little more lightly colored. Go inside once again. Two beds and there's this uh, science science station over here. I believe. You can like monitor stuff or whatever. Gameplay is not here yet. Once again, a shower toilet combo. And we got this little here, uh, I don't know, testing chamber actually. You can possibly put some exotic materials, and maybe some materials that you can't touch by hands. And test it out or something. Seen cockpits before and whatever. Oh, look at this a microscope too as well. Possibly some type of freezer. This is the uh, uh, militarized version. As you can see, it's military green. Got to show you something. This one also has like kind of like the sensor package over here. An extra ten arrays for uh, scanning things and whatever. Anyways. This one has a big gun on this one of its wingtips. This is the Tana, a light fighter. Though my experience, at least with the AI, it's very easy to just shoot the wings off. Then it'll be crippled. Right, let's just get inside. I think they appreciate them walking on the displays. Anyways. Once again, two bits. Yeah, just uh, if you have the core, then you must really like uh, hauling because uh, it really has nothing special going for it when all the other variants have everything. This one has a little bit of cargo space. You can see the, uh, the gravity plates over here. This one has, uh, I'm not sure what these are for, maybe lockers for your armor or something, not sure. And you got your weapon lockers, you know, this being a military ship and all. And yeah, same cockpit kind of thing. Yeah, it's all the mid series. The B Wing slash Slave Ones. These are the Freelancer variants. Base freelancer model. You know, yeah, it's like this uh, unpainted metal look to it. It's a nice complement of missiles. Some nice guns as well. A 
and uh, oh, I can't reach that. So the inside looks like. Inside four beds, and actually, just like the constellation series, these four beds or bunk beds can actually double as these skate pods. The door that closes them and seals them off, and it just blasts them off to space. All right, that's a D cockpit. Now, unlike these smaller ships, again, these just have slits for your view. But at least this has uh, kind of have like a uh, star roof. Currently, it's a little dark as everything's off. Let me turn the power on. Yeah, see, it's very like modern in terms of this game's modern. Uh, on my better shifts, it's used like holographic displays and everything. For some of his displays. Yeah, and lots of uh, switches. Got uh, four seats for all your crew. But for the ship, you don't really need four people. You really only need one, maybe two. This will be an engineering panel. Once again, you ain't got your shower and toilet combo. This one's not functional here. Got your uh, your uh, freezer. Pretty sure the water dispenser. Um, here is uh, the forward cargo compartment. The top loading uh, docking ring. And here you've got your aft um, cargo compartment. All the cargo sits uh, on over here. These gravity plates over here. And when you have the thing fully filled up, it's a tight squeeze down the sides. It's not useless in chrome space. And over here you got your turret, which is completely useless. They should really make uh, one of the seats in the front be the remote station for this turret instead of having a physical seat over here, because this just gets in the way of like fitting a vehicle in here. Show you what the seat looks like for complete sake. Oh, don't crush me. Whoa. Yeah, it's a very bug turret. Useless turret. Anyways, let's see. Miss likes to like you know label everything. Everything is nice and neatly labeled. Yeah, there you go. Show you the other variants now. This here's bigger version of the freelance. It's a more meaty landing gear. 
and did so. Let me get, try to get in the back. Much wider cargo space over here. As you can see, this is called, you know, two more engines on each side. And it's called the Free Lancer Max. Oh. There we go. You can hear the actually the the freelancer commercial in the background. Yeah. Actually, over here we see in all the models. This is where all your components go. Anyways. Now after the aft session, it's basically all the same thing. This here is the Explorer variant. Yeah. Focuses on Expedition. Has uh, extra fuel tanks attached to it. Over here and over here. Might be able to detach them. Don't know. Guess if you want to. Once again, it's all basically the same thing. But over here, so the cargo space, you have. I don't know what these are actually. Huh. Might be more fuel tanks inside. There's a cargo section over here. Inside here, it's uh, still basically all the same thing. Yeah, nothing really that exciting. Here, probably the most exciting model. If you're not a cargo hauler, it's the uh, militarized version. Focuses on gunship. Yeah. Really, it's more accurate and more accurate role as the missile boat. You'll see why. Those are not the only missiles on it. I can't reach that. It's dark inside. Here is the missile bays. These are all the missile racks that go to the top launchers. And yeah, this is the only difference in the ship. Let me show you what I'm talking about here. So 
some top launches over here. Shut on weapons so you can see it. And I did not mean to get up. What the hell? Let me open back weapons again. And we shall shoot out the top from here. Very nice, very nice. And uh, again, once the uh, armor uh, uh, yeah, once the uh, armor gets implemented, this will be more armored up. You know, it can like take more hits, especially ballistic damage. These were actually the first large ships in the game. Back in uh, 2016. This one's for heavy refueling. And this one has actually been uh, taken by, by another ship manufacturer called Aegis to. Uh, Basically, make it to uh, spec it out with uh, military parts and armor panels and everything. Yeah, there we go. God damn it. Hold on, hold on. There we go. So this one you see, you know, used by civilians. This one you will actually see using the uh, um, the navy fleets to refueling their ships. Yeah, it's a refueling ship. The refueling gameplay is not in yet, but uh, essentially, basically go into a gas cloud or a gas giant like Crusader. You know, dip into it like its upper atmosphere, collect all the uh, hydrogen or any other gases you need, and refine them in these large tanks back over here. It has a huge catwalk, long catwalk, to monitor all the tanks, everything, make sure everything's working fine and functioning. All right, going to the base mode. Try to show the, uh, the Gemini mod up, there was some internal problems with that. Yeah. Nice big cargo bay. Yeah, everything's nice and uh, lighted now. Got some sound leaking through here. And, uh, yeah, I believe these are actually uh, lockers where you hold your your uh, EVA suits. Then you can like go out of here. He has an orange scheme this time around. Now what I uh what's going on? Alright. Yeah, there's another way through that. Again, this is kinda like the, the maze, you know, you have to go around in a maze. That's the eternal layout of like it's upstairs. Boot the carpet should properly light it now. All these support stations, you can have like holographic displays over here. But uh, yeah, you got uh, slits for views. Especially for a big ship, you know what I'm saying? But you also got big guns for a big ship. Let's see. 
Now, let's go up to the other levels. You can either go up these ladders here into like the uh, engineering tunnels, or also there's probably some type of panel for you the cargo grips. You can go up these stairs over here. Okay, uh, you are in the second floor. This way into the living quarters. For your lift. Ladder access in case he powers up and you can access the, the lift. Give me the space wide and use the space for something else. Here's the, uh, the top turret. Covers the top of the ship. Alright. Over right here, you got your. Uh, kitchen, I think. If it was, then it's missing seats. I thought there should have been a table over here. Huh. Right here, you got the captain's quarters. What is this? Yes. Um. Yeah, it's uh, missing a seat. There's still be a seat over here. Interesting. And this is a special bed with the special seats. <clears throat> and for some reason it's like there's no door separating this, but uh you got your toilet and plenty of space for a shower, so no reason to be a combo. And a sink way over here. You know, where's your toilet paper roll at? Oh. Maybe it's a bidet. Anyways. Uh. Here you got your uh, crew quarters over here. Damn. Has zero privacy whatsoever. Yeah, it's kind of like you're in a military bunk. You got seats over here. And then you got your uh, your men and women uh, bathrooms here. Why do they have separate bathrooms for these, but not for beds? I don't know. Don't know. Hey, this is like the first large ship in the game. They have fixed a lot of the problems with their first outing as a large ship. If from with uh, other ships down the line. Yeah, the interior doesn't really make any logical sense. They have since gotten a lot better at making large ships. Anyways, uh, that was the engineering tunnels. Mind your head. It's a tight squeeze. A lot of the components are here for some reason. Instead of all in these hallways. The reason was that they built this ship kind of like an FPS level where you can easy, easily defend. 
against intruders. And once again, you got your engineering uh, crawl space over here where my components are instead of out in this hallway because there's really nothing else in this hallway. It's just a long hallway for reasons. You got your rear turrets over here. They also cover the Actually no, I think these go down, yeah. These go down. They cover the bottom of the ship. Okay. My coat is getting in the way. Uh, <laughs> yeah. Uh, this space is here for no reason. All right. There's your gravity generator, possibly. I'm locked in here. These doors have a mind of its own. Oh no, this is a gravity generator. This might be a power plant. Has no reason. It's gonna long haul way down to that turret. Yeah. Interior. It's not the most logically built. But at least when you learn the uh, the ship and how to get through it, you'll have a whole field of advantage against intruders. They'll be confused with the ship's layout while you can like surprise attack him. Oh yeah, go outside in the catwalk. I gotta show you. This floor. Ah, oh, yes, here. Once again, before you go outside. I guess these elevators. Also, function as airlocks. 
otherwise the ship would have already been vented as soon as I opened those doors. But anyways. Use the catwalk. I can go to each of these fuel tanks and uh, monitor the status and everything. You know, so you can get some nice views out here while you're in space, you know. The gravity extends out to these uh, catwalks over here, so you're fine. Even while you're in quantum travel. I never showed the exterior in its entirety, so I'll be playing back inside. Uh, ain't working. Right. What the hell? See if I can just jump away from here. Oh, okay. That was a bit heavy on my knees. Well, I survived. There you go. The biggest ship yet at this expo. <laughs> now when Aegis Day comes, it will be quite exciting as there will be even bigger ships for show on that day. There's something wrong with the lighting on that top turret, but whatever. That's misc. Try to get a good picture now. Yeah. And a day for peace.